believe in yourself believe the lord and do what is right don't do anything to please anyone like no i cannot do this because my neighbor will say this i cannot do this because the man of god will say this no it is not about the man of god it's about your future it's about yourself your destiny meaning you are the true custodian of your own destiny there is no one child of god who, has, who holds the key to your life god has given you the key do not make a mistake to do things to please the people you fear you are alone in darkness or in dark room you say my god my body is a temple of the spirit of god i refuse this thing of beer it is not my portion because you have to know my body is a temple of the spirit of god so where the, the spirit of god dwells child of god you cannot mix anything there so I'm not saying stop drinking beer. What I'm saying is that it is you to know who you are. It is you to know the one that you carry. If you know you carry God, you carry Jesus, the one who orders your steps, child of God, you honor what is in you and you learn away from negative or manipulations of the enemy. Hallelujah. I'm not saying stop drinking beer. That's not what I'm saying. In just name. I'm just saying look at yourself and know who you are and what you carry if you know you carry something something special in you you will not allow what you carry to be disturbed i'm not saying stop lying because if i come here and i'm telling you that to stop lying then i'm not fair to you yes i have to try by all means to be fair to your life so let me speak as I'm guided by the Spirit of God. If I tell you stop lying, then I'm not a good preacher. I want to be a good messenger of the Lord. What message am I giving? If you know the one that you carry, you will know he's not a liar. And you say, I refuse to be a liar. It's all about knowing who you are. We have been telling people for so long, stop lying, stop drinking beer. And people, the more we preach, the more they do the same thing. When I stepped here and God said, do not ask people to stop. Just tell them about who they are. If truly they know the one that they carry, they will not allow their territory to be contaminated. If you know you have Jesus in you, you will not allow your territory to be destroyed. It is what we do, child of God, that has power to destroy what we carry. Remember, the Bible says salvation is personal. If it is personal, it is you to know what is, what it is you to under to know what needs to be permitted in your life or not. Okay, this one, you are welcome. This one, no. This one, you are welcome. This one, no. That way, child of God, you live a fulfilled life. So I'm not asking anyone to say, oh, stop this, stop fornication. If you know your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, you will not enter there. Because you know, let me protect what is in me. Children of God, we have told you for many years, stop this, stop that. The more we say stop that, it's like now we are putting people in a very awkward position. Or we lock people in a cage. People move with guiltness. Because we tell them, stop this, stop that. So when somebody does something, they say, no, first for today, I'm not going to church. I need to fast for three days until this issue is removed. No, I am here to remind you about what God himself has said. God is a God of mercy and order. To his children and his saying, he orders the, the what? The steps of a righteous man. And now it is you and I we are confessing to say if truly we know the God that we save, the God we worship, child of God, for sure we have never seen this man forsake his own children. I have never seen a righteous man begging for bread, forsaken, rejected by his own. God is above every situation. That doesn't mean 
you will not go through issues. No. Remember what he said. No matter what you go through today, I'm always with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. That is God for you. So child of God, it is you. The life of a person is destroyed by ourselves. Not anyone. Or do not behave like it. No, I cannot do this because my, 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 my wife will see me. I cannot do this because my husband will see me. I cannot do this because my neighbor, my friend. No, 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 no. You don't need that. You don't need it. You know what you need? It's just to know the one in you. If you know the one in you, I'm telling you, you live a very genuine life. You are alone. The devil is coming. You say, I know who I am. Out of my way, Satan. You're about to do something. That says, Satan, out of my way. You don't need anyone to monitor you. You just have to monitor yourself. You are hoping. You say, mm -mm, I know where I belong. When you are going through a terrible situation, don't start condemning yourself or looking for solution or shortcuts for you to sort out or resolve whatever you are going through. It will still come back. Because there is a time God wants you to go through a process to finish. Remember he said, he will guide your steps. Is a faithful God. So when you find yourself in a situation, remain calm remain focused prove that you save a God who has never said goodbye to know more about Apostle Paul Moses and God's Covenant Ministries please like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel